Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to talk about how to monitor and save emails with COPSA 7.2. Some organizations may require monitoring and preserving the email sent and received in their network. With COPSA, we can easily get it. The new version 7.2 supports monitor and preserve all emails content, as well as the attachments. Before we get started, we should know that only the unencrypted emails can be monitored, so we should configure our email clients to connect the email server by SMTP port 25 and POP3 port 110. Let's run COPSA and we first come to the start page. There are some important settings we should make if we want to save the emails to disk. We start from choosing an adapter, then a network profile. In the analysis profile, we'd better select email analysis if we only want to analyze emails. Double click the icon, and we see the email analysis module is enabled. If we choose other analysis profile, we should also enable this analysis module first. Then click next. Choose log settings. We need to configure the email log in the right window. Click this button to select a folder to keep the email files. That's all the settings we have to make. Then we can start a capture. Now we come to the main program, and we will check out the log tab. Choose the email log. Now the log list is empty. Let's try to send a mail. Email set, we'll switch to COPSA again. Watch this, there is a log record. The sender is my test address, the same receiver and title as I entered just now. If we want to check out the mail content, we can click this link. Then, we can view the email content in a client, definitely the original. On the other hand, monitoring the incoming emails is all the same. All insecured emails coming and leaving your network will be monitored and saved. We can find all the emails are saved in an EML format in the folder we selected. I want to mention the email client as well. You can directly open the EML files on Windows XP with its own Outlook Express. But operation systems, like Windows 7, doesn't take this client by default. So you need to download an email client for EML file, such as, Windows Live Mail or Fox Mail, and so on. This is the end of the demonstration, thanks for watching.